Hello friends and welcome to Study Tonight's YouTube channel. This video is a continuation to our normalization video series. So do watch the videos for first, second and third normal forms before this one. In this video, we will learn about Boyce Chord Normal Form, which is popularly known as BCNF or 3.5 Normal Form because it is an upgraded version of third normal form. Let's have a quick recap of the second and the third normal forms. For a table to be in the second normal form, there should be no partial dependency. Which means, for a functional dependency, A derives B, where A is a prime attribute and B is a non-prime attribute. If A is a part of the candidate key, then B would be dependent on a part of the primary key, rather than depending on the entire candidate key. This is partial dependency. To learn about the concept in details, watch our video for the second normal form. For a table to be in the third normal form, it should be in the second normal form and there should be no transitive dependency. Which means, for a functional dependency A derives B, if A is non-prime and B is also non-prime, then this is known as transitive dependency. And to learn about this in detail, along with a simple example, go watch our video for the third normal form. Now comes BCNF. For a table to be in BCNF, it must satisfy two conditions. The table should be in the third normal form and for any dependency A derives B, A should be a super key. Or in simple words, we can say A cannot be non-prime attribute with B being a prime attribute. Until now, we have seen non-prime attributes depend upon prime attributes or a part of it like in partial dependency or some other non-prime attributes like in transitive dependency. But what if a non-prime attribute starts deriving a prime attribute? BCNF doesn't allow this behavior. So let's take an example and try to understand this type of dependency. So we have a college enrollment table here where we save student ID, subject opted by the student and the name of the professor assigned for that particular student for a particular subject. Let's add some data to our table. As you can see now, one student can enroll for multiple subjects and for each subject a professor is assigned to the student. One important point to note here is that there can be multiple professors teaching one subject like we have for Java, pJava and pJava2. In this table, the student ID and subject together form the primary key because we can use student ID and subject together to find all the other table columns. Well, in our case, there is just one another column. Also, as one professor teaches only one subject, we can use the professor column to find the subject name as well. Now, this table is in first normal form as all the values are atomic. Columns have different or unique names and the data saved in each column belongs to the same domain. This table also satisfies second normal form as there is no partial dependency and the third normal form as well because there is no transitive dependency too. But if you look closely, professor can lead us to subject and subject is a part of candidate key or primary key. Hence, it is a prime attribute while professor is a non-prime attribute. Hence, we have a dependency here where subject is dependent on professor but professor is not a super key, so the table doesn't satisfy BCNF. Now let's see how we can convert this table into BCNF. Obviously, we will have to break the table, but how? This is what we can do. Now we have two tables, one with student ID and professor ID, and a separate table for professor with professor ID, professor name, and subject name. This will convert a table into BCNF. We hope you enjoyed learning about BCNF in this video and the videos for the 4th and the 5th normal form are coming very soon. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share your doubts with us in the comment section below and we'll try to answer all your questions. And do not forget to subscribe to the Site Tonight channel. See you soon.